All right, guys, we got the Temporal Forces set. Let's look at the best cards in here, the highest rarity cards, and tell you guys their abilities and what do we think about them. Uh, we'll start with Torterra. Obviously, really strong Pokemon. He's a grass. He's going to be able to one-shot the Charizard. What, it, what his first ability does is it's 30 for every leaf Pokemon or grass Pokemon type in, the, in play that you own. So you can hit for... 180, 180 times 2 because you're hitting for weakness for Charizard is actually 360 so you can KO that Charizard easily with this uh, stage 2 Pokemon. It's the only bad side about it is stage 2 but besides that it's that 340 has a second ability that heals itself and does a little bit more damage that can not completely KO the Charizard but can deal a lot of damage and heal you keep you really safe. A strong Pokemon in my opinion he's gonna be a contender. Now I think Charizard is moving away from the meta it's not becoming one of the best decks in the format anymore. There's so many counters to it, so much control around it that uh, this might not even be useful by the time it's out. But Charizard are still obviously very strong. We also got Iron Leaves here, guys. Really strong ability. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may switch it with your active. If you do, move any amount of energy from your other Pokemon to this Pokemon. So kind of uh, saves... <gasps> Excuse me. This Pokemon can save your uh, other Pokemon. So if you have a Roaring Moon and it's at 30, you play this down, move that, move that Roaring Moon safety, and you move all the energy into this, and you can still at do a, an attack immediately, kind of keeping that Roaring Moon safe. That's one idea I can think about it. But its, second, uh, its attack is 180, and it cannot attack next turn. So it can one-shot uh, Charizard, but after that, it just kind of sits down and chills. <coughs> but I guess you could stack a bunch of these and every time you play them you just move all the energy and keep them all healthy <laughs> it's pretty interesting there are some uh, strategies I think I mean you could play uh, like three of these one after another and unless I can one shot them which is easy actually 220 is not that hard to one shot there are some ways that this Pokemon can save your other Pokemon so it's interesting idea but we still need a lot more support for this. We got also from Red Incineroar, of course, guys. Amazing EX Pokemon. We've been looking for this. Incineroar, this, the Pokemon attacks cost less, uh, colorless, for each of your opponent's benched Pokemon. He has a big attack for 240 that cost 5. Kind of like a Radiant Charizard. But this one, for every bench Pokemon, it costs one less. So if he has four Pokemon, it's only going to cost one hit, one uh, fire, and it does 240, and I think he can't attack next turn. No, your opponent's active Pokemon is now burned. So you hit him for 240, you burn him. That's insane. So that's a 250 damage attack, 260 potentially. That's, that's really good. That's really strong. For one energy, that's insane. I'm trying to think of how we're going to make this work with a Charizard. I don't think you would make a Charizard deck with this. I think what you do is you deck, make an Incineroar deck. And then play two or three Incineroars. And at 320 hitting for 240. That's insane. Absolutely insane. Moving on guys. We got... This is a water Pokemon. So it will hurt the Incineroar a lot. This is the Walking Wake. EX. I'm not sure why they give them such weird names. Uh, Uno Romi Namo EX. I like their Japanese names better. Azure Surge. Uh, damage from this Pokemon attacks isn't affected by any effects of opponent's active Pokemon. So, no weakness. I don't know what that means. So, if, I, if he has weakness, I can't hit him for weakness? Or is it just effects? Effects is, weakness is not an effect, right? Effects on opponent's active Pokemon. Damage from this Pokemon attacks isn't affected by any effects on your opponent. So if he has a rigid belt, a band that reduces damage, you're still hitting for full damage. If your opponent's active Pokemon is affected by special condition, this attack does 120 more. So 240 with a basic Pokemon for three energy. That's actually insane. 240 for three energy is insane. It's, it's not the greatest, don't get me wrong, but it is ancient, 
So we are getting more ancient Pokemon. It's interesting. It's very interesting. That's that's the least I can say. We got Wog Trio here. Wog Trio, the big boss, <laughs> comes from the <laughs> man that doesn't look like a worm, to be honest with you. Um, Wog Trio, discard up to three energy cards from your hand. Attack does sixty damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon for each card you discard in this way. Trash. But it is one energy. This is a stage one Pokemon, so it's very easy to <clears throat> level up and it has one hit, 180. And basically you can hit three Pokemon, it's got up to three energy cards, and you hit 60 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. You can hit three Pokemon, if there's no mana fee, you can really get rid of the whole board. Get rid of two Charizard and one uh, Pidgey. That turn two is insane, it's actually really easy to do. You going first. Damn, this deck actually can counter a lot of uh, these uh, stage 2 Pokemon decks, like Spathras, uh, the Gardevoirs. Damn, this deck actually counters all the Kiralas. Because if you have 6 damage counters on the Kiralas, Gardevoir can't pump itself up because it's taking too much hits, too much damage. This is insane, this is insane. It's gonna make Manaphy extremely meta. During your opponent's next turn, the defending Pokemon cannot retreat. Another strategy here is to boss in big Pokemon that the opponent is, is like a Giratina V-Star that's not fully ready to attack and either force the opponent to use resources so he can get it to attack or what you do is you just basically get a free KO. Like he can't get rid of it. I mean, he could switch it out though. He could switch it out. That's the only thing. So switch... Damn, Walktrio is actually insane control deck. I'm not gonna lie, this is insane control. Because you can now hit opponent's bench. You can hit, you can shut him down from moving. And it's all a stage one. It's actually really easy to set up. It's like a, a spotter. It's insanely easy. Honestly, Walktrio, I see him. Uh, I'm, I bet you he's gonna be in a bunch of... A bunch of these control -y decks. At least one-offs. If not, the whole deck is a Walktrio deck. Alright, moving on. Iron Crown, guys. EX. This is actually a very sought-after Pokemon. A lot of people are excited about it. Let's read its ability. Your future Pokemon attacks, except for Iron Crown EX, do 20 more. So future Pokemon do a lot more damage. If you have two or three Crown EXs, that's 60 more damage. That's insane. This deck does 50 damage to two of your opponent's Pokemon. This damage isn't affected by weakness or resistance. Or by any other, other effects. So Twin Shuttle can also hit the... The, the back... Uh, bench so it's not insane it's not an insane ability really it's more of the cobalt command that's what people are excited about that he gives uh, more power to future but i don't see any strong future pokemon yet that could really utilize this that really just needed that 20 extra damage or 40 extra damage to win games i haven't seen that yet <clears throat> so it's interesting it's got a cool Ability, but it's a little bit expensive. It's easily countered. I could just start bossing these iron crowns and Just KO them once per turn and uh, it doesn't matter how much power you have you literally have to do so much You have to take out two or three Pokemon at the same time. You can't just take out one at a time if you're playing this Pokemon Moving on guys. We got far grief far fiery giraffe fiery giraffe EX Oof. Fiery giraffe Prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by opponent, <laughs> by attacks from your opponent's basic Pokemon EX. Wow. Cool idea. <laughs> this is such a cool idea, Armor Tail. <coughs> I think uh, control is going to be a thing in this meta, in Temporal Force. This attack also does 30 more. 30 damage to quite a few opponents bench, but there's so much damage to the bench from temporal forces. It's actually scary. You you can't have a bench. This is actually really scary, guys. It is Terra. Wow, it's not insanely strong, but it's 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 another Mimikyu. It's a better Mimikyu, much much better Mimikyu. Well, not really. I mean, it's gonna. It's so niche. Basic Pokemon EXs. So if it's a stage two Pokemon EX, it doesn't matter. 
you know, you're never gonna see this uh, card be played. Coraidon, this is the ancient, this is another ancient Coraidon, but it's like a baby Coraidon. This deck does 30 damage for each, each of your ancient Pokemon in play, so it's kind of like the grass guy, but it's a little bit more expensive. 30 times 6 is 180s, that's the max. The stacks damage isn't affected by any effects of your opponent's active Pokemon Shred, but it takes a lot of energies, too many different energies. Interesting. It's an interesting card, maybe a nice uh, one, one prizer. Uh, for the late game, but uh, I can't see a whole deck around it. Maradon here. Search your deck for up to two basic energy cards and attach them to your future Pokemon any way you like. Then shuffle your deck. That's it. Search your deck for two basic energies, attach them, and shuffle your deck. It does deal some damage, so this is not the worst thing in the world. It's actually a really strong first attacker. You deal damage, you get two character, uh, two energies on the board. This is actually amazing for future decks. This Maradon is really good for future decks. Now, that second attack with that Psychic is actually trash. Like, I don't know why you, you they're making this so hard. Like, you can never attack with it, basically. But the ability is amazing. Let's move on. Raging Bolt. A lot of people are excited about Raging Bolt. Discard your whole hand and draw six. Strong early game. You, you can put this turn one. And use it, and then second ability, Extreme Advent, you may discard any amount of basic energies and stack the 70. There's a lot of cards that can pick back, uh, put energies from the discard pile into the their Pokemon. And also, if you have a couple of ancient Pokemon in the background, you can also run Seeders Vitality for 140 more damage. So you could get a bunch, a big number very easily. You could get easily 210 uh, with just one Seed and one energy attachment. Let alone if you get a couple of dark patches or something. <clears throat> so I think I can see this bolt, uh, raging bolt with a roaring moon, one one or two roaring moon behind it, and raging bolt does a bunch of damage early, and then we move on to the roaring moon when we need to. Yeah, I can see this, or we start with the roaring moon and then we move on to the raging bolt when we need to. I can see that happening. Raging bolt is probably going to be one of the strongest Pokemon in the set. It, it makes sense. It's got a really strong ability, very, very cheap, extremely cheap, but it's actually countered by the armor tail, by the giraffe. Awakening drum, okay, so we got some ace spec cards here. I'm not sure what the ace spec cards are, but basically you can only have one of them in the deck. So basically it's a radiant, um, so this ace spec says, Draw a card for each of your ancient Pokemon in play. Okay, so the drums just draw for ancient Pokemon. It's absolutely trash. Master Ball here. Here it is, the final ace spec. Master Ball. Search your deck for Pokemon, reveal it, and put it into your hand and shuffle your deck. Not bad. Not bad. It's kind of a better level ball. But there's only one Pokemon, it's one Master Ball in the whole deck. One Master Ball in the whole deck, you're going to rely on it so you can find your Pokemon? No. I mean, we can No. It's okay, but you can't rely on it. Like, you cannot just put one Master Ball in the deck and act like it's going to be a good deck. It's okay, it's, it's, okay. it's really good actually, but you can only run one. Let's see, let's look at what other ice specs we got. We got a maximum belt here, the attacks from the Pokemon. This card is attached to do 50 more damage to your opponent. Oh my god, opponent's active Pokemon EX. So if I'm doing a shred with V Star Tina, that's 280, plus 50 is 330. I can one shot a Charizard. <clears throat> Besides knocking him out, oh my god, Tina with this with this card is gonna be broken. I really need to just learn how to play Tina, to be honest. I don't know why I'm playing anything else. Prime Catcher here, switch in one of your opponent's bench Pokemon to the active spot. If you do, switch your active Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. Absolutely insane ability. This is what we're looking for. We only run one or two counter catchers, so we could run one or two of this. Or oh, sorry, one like we could run one and it won't feel bad. Prime catcher. 
with another counter catcher instead of running the two counter catcher this is insane this is really good but you are sacrificing that maximum belt though you can only run one ace spec so it's either the maximum belt or the prime catcher that's what i'm seeing right now those are the two best cards from the ace specs uh right now moving on we got another one here new upper energy as long as this card is attached to a Pokemon provides colorless energy. If this card is attached to a stage, two Pokemon pro provides every type of energy, but provides only two energy at a time. Wow. So, new upper energy is an A spec energy card that gives two energy for stage two Pokemon. Interesting. Wow. <laughs> it's just a two energy. It's not going to be used. New upper, I mean, you can, you're not going to use new upper over prime catcher. It just makes no sense. <clears throat> it makes no sense. Um, okay, we got Rel and Kath here. We got a couple more cards, guys, and we're done. Rel and Kath here. Each of your evolved Pokemon can use atta any attacks from its previous evolutions. Okay. <laughs> That's it. And a 30 damage attack. Trash. Uh, Mincino. A lot of people love Mincino. Clean it, beat for 10, clean up, discard two Pokemon, two for improvements, opponent's Pokemon. This is not bad. This is not bad. You can get rid of ancient uh, capsules. This is actually not bad. But it's really for the Evo. That's what it's really there for. This deck does 70 damage for each special energy attached to this Pokemon. Trash. The Sinos are trash, unfortunately, guys. Gouging Fire, one of the last strong Pokemons in here. Let's look at it. Its ability says Heat Blast for 60 and Blaze Blitz for 260. Cheaper than the Incineroar, guys. Much cheaper than the Incineroar, but you have to jump him out. And this is also basic. And it's much cheaper. It's like only three. That Incineroar is five. But Incineroar could be used for cheaper. Interesting. Uh, wow. <laughs> we have so many options now, guys. Uh, deck building is going to be very tough. I don't know what that 60 damage is for. 120. Hitting weakness for 2. It's really not that strong, but that second ability is amazing. Alright, guys. A couple more, guys. Wa uh, walking Wake. I think we looked at this. Yeah, we looked at this. And then we have Iron Boulder here. EX. Iron Boulder. During your opponent's next turn, this Pokemon is damaged by an attack. Even if it's knocked up with 8 damage counters, not bad, I guess. There's so much you can do now. And then he has another attack, discard 2 energies from this Pokemon. Really strong attack. Nice. Iron Boulder is an interesting deck. It's very hard to beat. It's going to be very hard to beat. You're going to just slam into it and it just catches you right back. So if it can get ahead, I, I can see it uh, just winning games easily. And yep, church wig here. All right, that that's it. That that was the set review. Honestly, from the set, I can see two or three cards are insane. Um, raging bolt, bolt, raging bolt. That that bolt, ex. That's pretty strong. I can see it being very strong with a lot of these ancient Pokemon that can uh, uh, turbo attach energy. Um, also. That master prime catcher, that prime catcher is insane. That prime catcher is insane. It can change games. That uh, there's one more. It's not a prime catcher, but with the one next to it. The maximum belt is absolutely insane in a Tina deck. It's almost like nothing can beat you. Because you knock out anything above 330. If it, and anything is at 330, you just shred it <laughs> with the maximum belt. It's actually insane. Damn, guys. Oh man, <laughs> Tina I think is one of the best decks now.